Whereas African Americans have steadfastly contributed to the economic stability and prosperity of Newport News and the former Warwick County since their first documented appearance in 1623. Having survived the atrocities of the Middle Passage and the Warwick County Courthouse auction block, these African men, women, and children were brought to the Virginia colony against their wills to work as enslaved laborers. Whereas the cultivation of tobacco on the backs of these enslaved individuals made Virginia the wealthiest of the 13 colonies. Moreover, these enslaved individuals were an integral part of the labor force and were used to augment the skilled labor force, thereby producing an array of talented workers, such as brick masons, watermen, orstermen, cooks, laundresses, wet nurses, seamstresses, midwives, and other skilled laborers. Whereas today, the 76,708 African-American residents continue to contribute to the economic health of this city through their occupations in various industries, such as shipbuilders, medical and health, small business owners, transportation, education, public service workers, the trades, legal and law enforcement, frontline workers, and the performing arts. Whereas, the military history of African Americans spans from the arrival of the first enslaved Africans during colonial history to the present day. African Americans have played key roles in the history and successes of the U.S. military. These brave men and women of African descent fought gallantly as soldiers and served with distinction in non-combat support functions such as cooks, chaplains, guards, laborers, scouts, and spies. Whereas, the city salutes its 2,072 active duty and the 8,430 retired African-American men and women whose patriotic heroism continues to secure our freedom from foreign and domestic enemies. Whereas, during the Reconstruction era in Newport News, African-Americans fully participated in the political process. These political leaders arose to elected positions at all levels of government, including the Virginia State Legislature, the House of Delegates, and the State Senate. Moreover, Freedom's first generation reconstructed their own lives by establishing churches, benevolent organizations, businesses, and schools. This legacy of public service has continued with the 12 African Americans who have served on city council and the 15 African Americans who have represented Newport News in the state legislature. Whereas America has not yet lived up to the virtues of democracy, equality, and freedom espoused in its cherished national documents. Moreover, these basic liberties have been denied to African Americans since the establishment of this great republic. The ugly stain of slavery and the continued injustices of the Jim Crow era gave rise to racial oppression, segregation, and systemic inequalities in the United States. Many local African Americans actively sought to rectify these disparities through civil protests, litigation, and socially and spiritually uplifting their communities. And whereas courageous individuals in Newport News who believed in the promises of America took up the cause of democracy, these unsung heroes secured the blessings of freedom and liberty at great personal peril. Their stories and the contributions to the city of Newport News will be memorialized on the We Stand for Justice wall. Now, therefore, I, McKinley L. Price, Mayor of the City of Newport News, do hereby proclaim that the We Stand for Justice wall will be a permanent reminder to the citizens of Newport News of the cost of freedom to African Americans. These champions of justice and their sacrifices will henceforth be honored annually during the city's Black History Month celebrations. 
With acknowledgement and gratitude, we honor the contributions of African Americans since our city's beginning. I call upon all public officers and citizens of Newport News to commit to reaching a day when all people enjoy the rights of full citizenship and racial discrimination and social inequity cease to exist. South